Good morning, students. Let's begin today the revision class of the poem "Dust of Snow" written by Robert Frost. Before dealing with this chapter revision, I would like to clarify before you the answers of the questions that I gave you for the self-assessment from the chapter "The Black Aeroplane." Here are the questions: Where did the narrator want to go back? Paris. What did the narrator decide? He decided to fly. It was dash for the writer that no instrument of the aeroplane was working. The answer is unbelievable. Name the plane in which narrator was flying. The name of the plane is Dakota. He was amazed to see a dash. Here the answer goes runway. He turned to look for his dash in the black aeroplane. The correct answer is front. Now, let's begin with today's poem. Dust stops snow written by Robert Frost. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I dreamed. Dust of snow written by Robert Lee Frost an American poet. My dear students, Dust of Snow is one of the shortest poems by Robert Frost, first published in 1923 in the book New Hampshire. Let's see the theme of the poem. The Dust of Snow by Robert Frost is a small and simple poem with a deep meaning. It expresses the significance of small things in changing one's attitude. The poem explains that the little things in life can make huge changes in our future. It also reflects that hard times in the life will lead to the happier times if we can persist with it. Now, let's deal with the Stanza wise explanation from the poem the first stanza the way a crow shook down on me with the dust of snow from a hemlock tree let's see the meanings of the important words from this stanza first dust of snow means particles of snow hemlock tree means a poisonous plant with small white flowers now listen carefully i'll explain you the stanza the poet robert frost was having a heavy snow day when he had composed this poem the region was heavily snowed that day and the poet was sad as he was unable to do the work he had set out to do here in the above mentioned lines the poet recounts a small incident that changes his mood it seems very simple but it has a great significance the poet was once very depressed hopeless in a state of sorrow and was lost in his thoughts as he was unable to do the work he had set out to do due to unfavorable weather conditions he was standing under a hemlock tree suddenly a crow that was sitting on the tree shook the tree and the fine particles of snow from the tree fell on the poet so here ends the first stanza now let's deal with the second stanza has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had dreamed let's see the important word meanings here mood means a state of mind and dreamed means held in regret now let's see the explanation of this stanza when the soft and cool snow fell on the poet it changed his mood from the state of sadness to happiness he started feeling peaceful and refreshed the simple incident shower of dust of snow helped him enjoy the remaining part of the day that would have been a waste for him he thus became happy as it saved his rest of the day from being wasted and held in regret so here i end the revision lesson uh, children now let's see the rhyme scheme of the poem it is a b a b now let's see the tone of the poem The tone of dust of snow is light and cheerful. It reflects the change that has already taken place in the poet's heart from sorrow to joyful after the shower of snowflakes upon himself. Therefore, the poem presents a moment that seems simple but has a larger significance with the help of the images like crow and hemlock tree. So, Here is something important from the poem that are the poetic devices you need to know. Some of the important poetic devices mentioned in this poem are number one symbolism. 
the use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities children the words snow crow and hemlock tree are symbolic in nature snow symbolizes joy and crow and hemlock tree symbolizes sorrow next is alliteration that is repetition of same consonant sound in the nearby words like has heart and saved some these are the two words given in the same line starting with the same consonant h so has given my heart here has given my heart h is the consonant sound repeated and saved some part here s is the consonant sound repeated so this is alliteration next is the irony in the poem in the poem the crow the dust and the hemlock tree represent bad omen so we think that something bad is going to happen but they actually give relief to the poet which is exactly the opposite this is the irony in the poem children because irony of a situation is an unexpected aspect of it an ironic situation is strange or amusing because it is the opposite of what is expected now let's go with the important questions that will help you for the online exam from this poem where was the crow sitting on a hemlock tree what did it shake on the poet dust of snow what was the poet's state of mind at that time depressive mood name the poet of the poem dust of snow robert frost who sat on a branch of hemlock tree a crow dash sat in a sad mood who sat in a sad mood the poet which thing changed the poet's mood dust of snow find the name of the poisonous plant from the passage that is hemlock what was saved by the poet the rest part of the day what is the rhyme scheme of the stanza a b a b which word in the passage means same as held in regret it the word is root now some of the questions for the self assessment children that you will uh, practice orally after reading the poem whose part of the day has been saved mention the poetic device used in the line has given my heart a change of mood what is the moral of the poem which thing changed the poet's mood now after ending here we are going to start with the revision of the second poem written again by robert frost that is fire and ice let's recite some say the world will end in fire some say in ice for from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice so fire and ice written by robert frost one of robert frost most popular poems and it was published in december 1920 in harper's magazine and in 1923 in his pulitzer prize winning book new hampshire it discusses the end of the world likening the elemental force of fire with the emotion of lust and greed and ice with hate now the central idea and the theme of the poem hatred and power of emotions are the major themes of the poem the poet discusses the destructive features of human emotions he uses the symbol of fire and ice to show how desires and hatred contribute to making the world stand at the verge of chaos how is the tone of the poem the tone of the poem is very solemn it is not a comedic or tragic poem it is simply declarative the ending gives a sense of fulfillment for no apparent reason the poem itself is an allusion to the well known question of death by fire or ice let's see the rhyme scheme of the poem that is a b a a b c b c b so in the second video children i'll start with the explanation from this poem here i end the first video thank you